Something that I learned from this exercise is how reacting off of other people's energy can impact how authentic an interview feels. Our videos were all pre-recorded on our own terms and then later stitched together. This leaves no room for an interviewer and interviewee to bounce off of each other to properly react to what is happening or for the piece to even feel connected altogether. So I do hope that for the next piece I do, it can either be in person or at least somewhat scripted so it seems more natural. I think I did a good job on the lighting and camera ratios, however I would like to play around more with b-roll footage and hopefully make it look more natural. Relationship with friends, with my family, it was a really big dynamic change for just about every aspect of my life. What kind of challenges did you both face during these transitions? I think the biggest change that I experienced was just anxiety. It was really difficult to find my classes, to sit in my classes, to be around other people. It just really stressed me out. There were many panic attacks that happened on the way, but now I'm settling in. It's getting a bit better. How have you both dealt with these issues? It's just been a matter of warming up to everything, warming up to the people around me, to the new surroundings, to the city life. I'm definitely enjoying uni a lot more now, so I'm really proud of myself and how far I've come and how I was able to put up with all the challenges. Well, that's it. Thank you both Summer and Alison for your time and I hope everyone enjoyed watching. Thank you. The first part about this week's reading that I found interesting was the part about disrupting an interviewee. I definitely wouldn't have thought to, I definitely would have tried to be very overly polite as an interviewer. Although he stated that he would do it rudely, I probably would refrain from that, but it is still a good thing to use, I do believe. And the other thing that I thought was interesting or could be used within my own work was the part about tapping the foot of the filmer. I feel like that's something very behind the scenes that we don't see, which is quite funny but he taps the foot so they know what shot to get and the different part of the foot means a different shot, like the ankle might mean a wide shot. And I thought that was really cool.